Hello viewers and welcome to our first SBK 2011 video. Uh, we've been lucky this week to get our hands on a very early version and I'm going to be going through that with you guys over the next few days. I have been sent a list of information on this version actually as you can see here containing lots of bullet points 21 bullet points of things which are, aren't actually working on the game so everything from no soundtrack to biker animations, biker sounds, the way the trees look, the way the lighting looks, everything you see is an early version. In fact some of the option screens don't even exist yet, it's just placeholder menus so I won't be showing you too much of the options but general gameplay I suppose, getting a feel for the bikes, again uh, nothing's final, music, sound, animation, it's all still being worked on, no doubt there'll be some refinements coming to the gameplay as well. But rather than me chatting, uh, take a look at this and uh, let us know your feedback. Okay viewers, so now we're going to ride with uh, Max Biaggi around the Imola course. Let's get away from the line here. Now this game does require a lot of concentration of course. Many of you will know from playing SBK, obviously I'm playing the full simulation uh, model here. Very tricky, got to be progressive on the power, learn where to turn in, which is always a lot earlier than I expect. Braking as well, you know, you can't just muck about, you've got to get on the brakes. Oh man, oh, just about made it there. Of course there's not much grip on the circuit yet, you will see the racing line alter as the race goes on, that darker patch appearing. Uh, the AI here is not final, so don't think that, uh, oh, unbalanced on the brakes there, and then trouble getting on the power. Decent model of the Imola course, nice to see. Notice the uh, much improved frame rate, which probably doesn't come across on the film. Hoping at some point I can start arranging some uh, uh, direct feed for you guys. You can get a better example of what I'm actually seeing. Down the hill. Tricky uh, tricky braking zone here. I can imagine on a, on a bike this is a very challenging corner. With bumps and whatnot. It might look like I'm going pretty slow there, but um, and I am, but the, uh, the uh, gradient has an enormous effect on the bike. Nevertheless, despite using the rubbish PS3 controller, um, right off the line, oh goodness, didn't get that right at all. Despite using the rubbish PS3 controller, I'm keeping, um, getting a good feel for it. It does play a lot better actually on an Xbox controller. Any regular fans of the game will probably know that. You can see how the, the, the bike locked up then. See these black lines appearing here, these weren't all here earlier, this has appeared as the race has gone on. A little bit slow into that corner. I've made the leaning a little bit easier this time and that's a good thing. Further in the throttle, always want to straighten the bike out. Obviously when you're on this simulation mode you uh, have to be aware that if you get on the power at the wrong time, or you, like there I hadn't straightened the bike up, you can see it moving around so I hit the brakes before I straighten the bike and it was nearly curtains for me. There is very much a, a tiptoeing line, there. I say, that uh, you need to follow when you're playing the game like this. So this is a quick look at Imola, just as far as the track's concerned. Let me uh, dive into the pack now. Okay, so starting the game again. Just uh, from on board there, this is going to be carnage, but it will uh, give you guys an idea of uh, as some of these guys pass. Hopefully no one will bash into me. On board the bike, great view on board actually. How am I ever going to control this? I don't know. I'm rubbish at controlling bike games at the best of times, but let's get over the... Uh, this is with full simulation mode. I will say actually that when you do watch it on TV, uh, it does actually look a lot like this on the bike. Not a bike ride, I'd like to do it one day. I have been on a, a Superbike Pillion experience at Silverstone, that was quite an experience, I can tell you. Holding on for dear life, I think is the, uh, the appropriate way to look at it. 
So we're trying to get round on the inside there, get on the power up the hill. A lot slower here than you expect it to be. We've got legs hanging off bikes left, right and centre. Ignore all of that though viewers because as I say biker animations are still being worked on. Actually the um, version I played in January actually was impossibly difficult. Oh no it's over for me. There you go. My man didn't know what was happening there. As I say, none of these animations have been finalised yet, so this is still very early. Let's look at some of the other viewpoints we've got. So we've got another one here, slightly different view. Let's try this one out, see how it works. More of the rider's helmet view. I'm restarting again now from this. Uh... So you can see we also have this far away viewpoint. Let's just look at the viewpoints for a second. So we've got this far away, on bike. Another on bike view, helmet view, close to bike, further and then further away. So those are the views that we've got available. Let's uh, look at the photo mode. So we can see there uh, some of the detail in the bikes, in the bike models. Much more detailed than last year's version. Can we get we zoom out a little bit and see these other guys here? Oh. See how the leg animations there are due to this early build of the game. Again, we're lucky to get hold of this version, so it's nice just to get an early look at it, see what you guys are going to be looking forward to. Lovely detail, though, in the bike models, it has to be said. I like that. Again, very early, very early build, but gives you an idea of what you're all going to be looking forward to. Nice, nice, nice detail in the whole bike there. Wait for bike fans to look forward to. Let's uh, resume now. Again here, it, it's very intuitive, isn't it? I mean, it's nice to pick up and get on the line. I mean, oh, slightly wide into that corner there. I, I had a bad run on entry, you know, and I, I think what it shows is just how important the racing run really is in this. You know, you, this isn't, you're not mucking about in this really. Oh, I was looking at the bike animations then, seeing their little legs uh, hanging off the bike <laughs> everywhere. So I say, it is an early version, they haven't got around to doing that yet. It does look quite funny at times. So that's a little look at Imola, let's uh, check out another of the race tracks we can look forward to. So uh, a first look there, quite an interesting insight into it. Uh, we'll be showing lots more circuits, bikes. Let us know what you want to see actually, what teams, what bikes uh, do you want to be seeing, you know, what, what, what circuits uh, would you like me to ride and, and then give me some of your feedback as well, especially to bikers out there, if, I mean, if you've ridden around some of these circuits, what feedback could you give us uh, in the way the game looks, in the way uh, the feedback, the camber, the bumps, you know, how, how you've approached the circuits and what you felt, I'm always interested in reading your opinions and what you what you think of some of these games and how they're being developed but uh, loads more SBK to come in, in next few days so guys I'll see you soon